Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to install MySQL 8.0.13 on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.4. So let's uh, connect to one of the Windows machine from where we will connect to the uh, Linux box. Okay, so open the putty and uh, we know the our name of the node Tech Brothers IT and I have a Red Hat Enterprise Linux port 22 is fine. Let's change the appearance. Go to change bold and the 16 is good so we can see what we are doing uh, on this machine okay provide the username asia zad that's my username i'm going to provide the password and we are all set the very first step is we will download the repo uh, from the mysql yum repository to our linux box and we'll get mysql ad that means that we want to install the 8.0 version okay so i'm going to copy this one and we use uh, wget to download it okay hit download and uh, uh, i actually did uh, run it so it uh, it probably override it before so it is asking for the password so it's downloaded and next part is we will install this uh, rpm so we'll use a uh, sudo yum local install and then uh, inst name of the rpm that we just downloaded okay uh, let me clear the screen paste it there okay that's installed and uh, after the installation is done uh, what we will do we'll check uh, for the repo so we'll check for a mysql repo if it is enabled it should be enabled uh, by default uh, as we have uh, installed uh, sudo yum uh, with this uh, package okay so that is there and you can see that it is mysql ad so by default when you download uh, this uh, repo and uh, uh, install it what it does uh, it will uh, enable it uh, for the mysql 8.0 if you want to down uh, enable for 5.7 or something you can always uh, uh, enable them and install them but in our case we are only interested to uh, install uh, 8.0 uh, mysql server so for installation we'll say sudo yum install mysql community server that will take our latest version because uh, that's the repo it has enabled it and we can see right here okay good so we'll just paste it there sorry let's paste now it is uh, installing uh, mysql yes while it is installing uh, i'm going to take you to the next step uh, what we will do we will uh, start the service after the installation okay so right here we'll install uh, installation is happening here on number four and number five is uh, we'll uh, start the service and uh, when uh, you uh, when this uh, installation happen uh, for my uh, mysql 8.0 it create a temporary password in var log mysql d dot log so when we will run the secure installation to change our passwords and the other settings uh, we have to provide that that password so we'll grab that and then run the secure installation that's our last step so after the installation we are going to go ahead and uh, run the start service and then uh, we'll look for uh, this uh, var log uh, mysql d log for the temporary password and uh, once we have it then we'll run uh, the secure installation what i'm doing in this tutorial uh, while it is uh, the uh, installing uh, mysql 8.0 on uh, red hat linux uh, let me tell you about the tutorial i'm creating this tutorial uh, with very detailed uh, for dbs uh, and uh, that will include the installation replication that will include uh, uh, the clustering uh, and the uh, user management uh, backup restore so if you uh, want to learn this mysql as a real time uh, where you will be you know, working uh, as a dba on daily basis uh, this uh, tutorial can be good tutorial for you to start with though okay so the installation is completed the next part is the start the service sudo service mysql d start okay so it is uh, starting the service and we can check the status uh, of the service uh, by using sudo system ctl status mysql d so that will give us a status okay let's wait for a couple of seconds Uh, if you are using CentOS uh, 
uh, I have done an installation on uh, CentOS as well uh, and uh, we have done a, a lot of videos on how to install uh, on Windows and multiple instances and all that so you can check those videos as well okay so now the service is active and running what we have to do we have to run uh, this command grab temporary password from which file var log mysql d dot log okay so that will give us a temporary password okay so i'm gonna clear this screen so sometimes i see that people can't even read at the end so grab a uh, temporary password from this file okay a temporary password is uh, this is the password okay we copy this password and now we are going to run the the secure installation tool so we can set up uh, our root uh, user password and other uh, parameters uh, for mysql server mysql underscore secure installation come back to home and say sudo okay uh, enter password for user root uh, that we are uh, we already have it that's the one we copied from the war log uh, and uh, mysql d file so we provided that it is asking provide the new password so i'm going to go ahead and provide the new password okay okay uh change the password for root we already just provided that we don't want to change it uh, hit next uh, just hit enter it will take you next uh, yes uh, anon anonymous users remove it this allow uh, remote uh, root login remotely yes uh, then uh, yes for the database and access to it remove test database uh, reload privilege table yes and we are all done let's uh, check the status again so we say system ctl status mysql okay let's do sudo system ctl status mysql d so, okay so the uh, service is active and running that's good and uh, we are going to log into the my um, mysql dash so we'll say mysql dash u dash root dash p and provide the password what we have just did uh, during the secure installation and now we are logged into the mysql okay show databases uh, and uh, then uh, you can see different databases are there i'm gonna go ahead and uh, do one thing i'm gonna create a database uh, so just make sure everything directory is uh, readable writable and all those kind of things so uh, i will go ahead and create test database okay spellings database test okay so if i want to select some data uh, i can select the data from my sql dot users okay user probably okay oh sorry user and you can see that uh, it is returning as data we were able to create the database and everything so that's uh, working for us and this is uh, it for uh, how to install uh, mysql 8.0 on red hat linux server i will see you guys in next video subscribe it if you like it thanks